Hi, I'm Brother Pratt and welcome to my page. I want to thank everyone who supported my first book, A Few Good Men. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope and pray you not just read it, but also understand that I want you to have a close relationship with Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that that book makes that happen. But also, I want you to understand when it comes down to your hopes, your dreams, your plans, your desires in life, don't give up. I want to tell you a little background pertaining to the book. That book, it took me seven times to write and rewrite that book. Seven times. Every time I would end up typing and save it on my computer, phew, come to find out the computer didn't save it. As I'm typing, next thing you know, the power went out. Crazy stuff would happen. I had to rewrite the whole book from beginning to end seven times. Just imagine, I could have given up after the second time or the third time. After the fifth or sixth time, but seven times. So I want you to know this. There are dreams, hopes, plans that you may have in life, but the devil don't want you to get it. The devil don't want you to go after it. Why? Because he wants you to quit. Don't you know you were designed by God not to quit, not to give up. But also understand this. Don't wait upon support. Don't look for support. A lot of time, God has given people a plan, a vision, a dream, and people are waiting upon others before they do what God told them to do, before they execute what God gave them. They wait for people to validate them. Uh-uh. Listen, God didn't tell them to do it. God told you to do it. So understand, don't wait for support. You do it. God already supported you by what? By giving you the plan. By giving you the vision. He told you to go ahead and do it. Don't wait for people to give you support or give you an encouraging word. No. Or even to help you. No. You do it. And as you do it, God going to bless. But also don't wait upon somebody or don't expect people to encourage you. A lot of time, the same people that you expect to encourage you are the ones that will discourage you or don't support you at all. But then there are those where you don't expect for them to help you or encourage you. And those are the main ones that God sent to encourage you. So the key thing is, I want you to understand, with your hopes, your dreams, your plans, don't give up. Don't wait for people to validate who you are. Understand, God made you complete just as you are. But he wants you to rely upon his strength, his ability, his word. You trust his word, his ability, not even your own. Especially not the word of other people. You seek God's approval, not other people. And I promise you, when you seek God's approval... That's all the validation that you need. God wants you to do what he told you to do. He don't want for you to wait for somebody else to give you the sign off. No, he told you to go ahead and do it. So I want you from the day forth, for those that have the book or those that may be getting the book or even those that don't even have a desire to get the book. Understand, you're looking at a true example what God can do in the midst of situations. Now, I love each and every person that have helped me along the way, that have encouraged me along the way. But the key thing was, and is, the book was successful, not by the sales that come out of it. No, by the changes of lives that happens in this process. So in other words, the book was successful before it actually went into print. Why? Because God told me to do it. God told me to write it. And so my thing is to tell you. You already know what God told you to do. You just need to do it. That's it. That's going to be the success story. That your children and your children's children will see. Those that are in the community. But more importantly. Those around the world will be able to see. Because God told you to do it. He didn't tell you with a group of people to do it. No, he told you to do it. So don't wait for somebody to validate you. 
Don't wait for somebody to give you an approval. God already gave you your approval. When you were born, he said, it is good. And everything was finished. And everything that God made, he said it was good. That means it's complete just as it is. So I want you to trust God in every situation. And especially the situations that he already told you about. So I want you to think about it. If you get nothing else out of this video or out of the book, what was the thing that God told you to do? Are you doing it now? If you're not, what's holding you back? Or who's holding you back? And you can't say other people. Sometimes you have to look at yourself. We are our own worst enemy because we're not obeying what God already told us to do. So as we get ready to wrap this video up, I want you from this point on, repent, ask God to forgive you if there's any slowfulness, if there's anything he already told you to do and you refuse to do it or you haven't do, done it because of fear, because of rejection from others or whatever, you repent to God and God will help you to execute and do what he told you to do. And as far as support, he will send support when you first support yourself. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we coming to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, God. God, I thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, God. Not just in my life, but Lord, even the lives of those that are watching this video, God. God, I pray that you minister to them, God. Help them, God. And help all of us, God, be the men and ladies that, call, that you call for us to be right now, God. In the name of Jesus. And say to remind everything you stand for, remind every problem, confusion, remind every distraction right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of giving up. We bind the spirit of fatigue right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind every doubt right now. We bind every fear right now. In the name of Jesus, God, help us, God, to be obedient to you, God. Help us, God, to trust what you told us to do, God. Help us, God, to trust your word right now, God. Help us, God, to have your word as the final authority right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, help us not. Help us, God, to not be our worst enemy, God. But help us, God, to trust you, God. Even when it look like it's hard, God. Help us, God, to trust you, God. Even when there's one setback, two setbacks, God. Still help us to trust you, God, and wait upon your lead right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, God, for everything you've done right now, God. Everything you're going to do, God, in the lives of your people right now, God. And we expect it that it is done right now, God. We thank you, Lord, for the testimony that's coming from this, God. In the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video. I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.